The following is a tutorial on FLIR's Research IR Max software and analysis tools and charts and graphs. Now that we've recorded some data and created a box measurement tool, a cursor measurement tool, and a line profile, and we've also created a line profile plot, a stats viewer, a temporal plot, and a histogram, let's take a look at some of the different options available. Now in any of the charts and graphs, I can right click and go in and change things like the title and the font that's used or the color and the color of the background, the grid lines, all sorts of fun stuff. I can even add a legend so it can help people understand what the different lines are referencing within my regions of interest. A tool though that you might use more often is to create multiple Y axis. In this case, I have two Y axis set up, one on the left hand side and one on the right hand side. And I can choose to define those to a specific range or have them auto scale. Let's click OK and take a look at our data. Now the cursor pretty much maintains the same temperature throughout the movie. Where the flashing LED that we're plotting the information from the box is heating and cooling down. Rather than having both of them follow the exact same Y scale, let's have the cursor follow its own scale on the right hand side. If I hover on top of the temporal plot or any of the charts and graphs, I get two little arrows in the top right hand corner. I'll click on those and we get a multitude of options to further configure what we're viewing on our chart or graph. Now I just said that I want to change the Y scale for the cursor. So I locate the cursor and hover on the small icon that says change scale. If I click on that, I can now change it to reference the Y scale on the right hand side. And so now it's following the scale on the right hand side while my box measurement tool is following that on the left. I have other options here as well. I can log both lines, the cursor and the box, to a text file either on live image display or recorded data by just checking this box. Or I can log an individual line by selecting the cursor or the box and clicking on the log line. I have some other options to zoom in and pan in on the data. So let's say I wanted to check out this spike in the temperature data. I could zoom in on that as well. And then lastly, I have the ability to save the chart as a bitmap or also as a comma separated value file. These options are available on other types of charts and graphs. For example, the line profile plot. So again, I can right click and go in and change things like titles or add a legend or even adjust the Y scale. And again, when I hover my mouse over it, I get those two arrows in the top right hand corner to give me additional options for the line profile plot. So these are ways you can customize how your charts and graphs operate and how they look. For further information on Research IR Max, how to acquire data, how to analyze data, or how to share data, please check out the additional tutorials on FLIR. Thank you.